Hello, this is Micah J101, and here's my Sterling engine actually doing some work. So I finally actually hooked it up to a cell phone, and it's charging a cell phone, and running a fan right now. So this little fan here, or actually it's a large fan, it's a box fan. Um, I just glued this tin can on here as a pulley, and I've got a little gum band going up there, and down to the uh, the flywheel on the Sterling engine there. And you can see the generator's running off of it also. And here is our cell phone charging. It doesn't actually have a charging symbol for some reason, but it would be right there, the battery symbol, but for some reason it doesn't show that. But right now it's charging at 130, 140 milliamps at 7 volts, and that's going into this little car adapter, and then the 5 volts from the car adapter, this is like a boost buck converter kind of thing, um, goes into a USB port and into the cell phone. And it's charging happily right now. So, yeah. I actually also tried an MP3 player, but it draws too much power. It tries to pull 200 milliamps for a couple seconds, and then the boost conver converter gives up, and um, it just kind of stops charging, and it interrupts it. It keeps trying to turn back on, but it's, it doesn't work very good. But it's charging it at almost 1 watt, so about 0.9. Well, here, I mean, it actually went up a little bit. It was at charging at um, 130 milliamps, but it's charging at 140 right now. So... 7.2 yeah so about one watt right now I actually did that wrong I didn't put the decimal places in but whatever <clears throat> so yeah it's charging a cell phone so it's actually doing something useful yeah it doesn't doesn't show the charging for some reason but if you unplug it oh, it's um, actually almost full now it was pretty much empty this is my mom's old cell phone, so it's kind of old, <laughs> but she should get a new one because the battery only lasts like half an hour in this thing. Let's see. There we go. You heard it. Oh, it says unable to charge. It must be full now, but it's still drawing a good bit of current from it. So it actually charged up all the way because it was about half before, but then again, the battery probably doesn't hold very much anymore, so it probably doesn't take much to charge it up. But yeah, it charged the cell phone then. So, yeah, I think that's it says unable to charge when it's full. So, unless it's not the right voltage. But the battery's full now, so. Or nearly full. Huh. Maybe it's not satisfied anymore. Let's unhook the fan here. Because the fan only draws, well, when you're charging something like this, the fan only draws about, um, fifth, er, 0.5 watts, I, I presume, because that when the fan is whoops, not on, it um, puts out an extra half a watt, so, let's see. Still says un unable to charge for some reason. Yeah, I think the battery's just shot in this thing. Hmm, that's odd. Let's try the MP3 player here. Let's see what it does. <clears throat> yeah, see, it just cut off. It went up to about 200 milliamps and then it cut off. And it says it's connected to the PC, but it doesn't show that it's charging. So, let's try that again, see what it does. See, you, can see, you can see what it does. So, we drop off to 10 milliamps, that's how much that's using. And then we plug this in. It went up to 200 and the voltage dropped off too low for the little converter. And it just shut off. Yeah, so it can't handle it. Or probably the voltage coming out is too low for the MP3 player and it gets mad and shuts off. So, so yeah, something like that. So it works pretty good. Okay guys, so I just changed up my um, charging circ circuit a little bit here. So I added some things. So now I've got a couple, another meter here. This one, all right, so I added a battery. That's the main thing. So this battery is to um, support the large current that things like this oops, um, need. And actually right now, it, this is the current that is coming out of the battery. So that's going to the MP3 player right now. It's using about 350 milliamps there. And that's on 500 milliamp setting. And then this is the current that's going into the battery, so we're putting in 130 milliamps into the battery from the Sterling engine. And then this is the battery voltage, so 
8.3 volts, approximately 8.2 volts. And um, so yeah, and then I'm actually I switched to this boost converter. It's a little, it's really nice actually. It's variable from like 30 to one volt or something like that. So it's really nice. So they're they're like six dollars on eBay. You should get yourself one if you. Um, but you can. It's great for charging things like this. It's up to. Um, uh, it's like two amps, I think. So it's pretty good. Um, and then I also added a diode here and a little switch that goes across the diode. So the diode keeps it from, if the engine stalls, it doesn't keep trying to turn it over. So, as you can see, I'll stop the engine. Now our current going, um, going into the battery is zero, but we still have current coming out of the battery. So our device is still charging. So now, actually, this is our start switch. So if I click this, then it's going to start the Stirling engine from the battery. So that current there will go negative, which means there's current coming out of the battery to the Stirling engine. There you go. Just started up the Stirling engine by pushing a switch. So just a cool little, cool little um, circuit I put together real quick. But um, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, now there's current coming out of the um, out of the Stirling engine. Actually, if, we, if you click this switch while the Stirling engine is running, it actually puts a little bit more power into the battery because the diode has some resistance, so it's not perfectly efficient. So, yeah. But yeah, let me just do that again because it's kind of cool. Sometimes it doesn't quite. No, it's trying. It's trying. Oh, there we go. Okay. Sometimes the Stirling engine gets at a spot where it's kind of stuck, and it just doesn't quite have enough. So he has to kind of lose some air, some of the air in the compression from from the compression of the um, uh, diaphragm. Some of the air has to leak out in order for it to get it to turn over because the motor's not quite strong enough. See, it's slowly turning it, pushing air out. There we go. And it starts. And that goes down to like negative 500 milliamps when you try and start it. Sometimes. Or when it's stuck like that, it'll go down to... Oh. Yeah, it's not really going down that far. But yeah, so it works. And then if I unplug the MP3 player, this current goes down to zero. And now we've got current just going into the battery now. So we're charging up this battery. Replacing the power that we used charging the MP3 player. So, kind of cool little setup. That's about it. Thanks for watching.